here, and welcome home. I wanted to share something with you. Hello. That was a little bit shaky. I had forgotten that I had taken the good quality strings that I used to have on here, which were heaviest, and I put them on a different fiddle. So I scrambled to put basically a dollar store set of strings on here. Oh boy, they're rough. <laughs> so what I wanted to share with you today is what allowed me to learn to play the violin, which is this, the fiddle fret. So what the fiddle fretter is, is this accessory with a self-adhesive back, which actually has wire frets built in. So you just sticker this bad boy on here. They're all uh, manufactured uh, in Canada, so I'll link the uh, item in the description uh, directly to the guy uh, that creates them. And what it allowed me to do is learn to where to put my fingers. Now, my history with the violin is that when I was a teenager many years ago, uh, I purchased this fiddle for about $65, $70 using my hard-earned teenage money, which was a lot of money for a teenager at the time, and I was never able to learn the fiddle. And the reason being is because I had no understanding of where the frets were. I didn't know where any of the notes were, so I was just sort of sticking my fingers in places. And uh, I had heard, oh, you put tape here, you put tape there, you measure that. But that, I didn't want to have to keep staring down at the fingerboard. So that wasn't really a solution that I was looking forward to. Um, when you play an instrument with frets, for example, the guitar, it makes a lot of sense. You can visually see and you can feel where the notes are, whereas on a fretless instrument, you cannot do that. So it's very difficult to gain an understanding of that. I didn't have any formal training. I was just teaching myself, as I'm sure many people out there who want to play fiddle style are probably just going to try to teach themselves or learn from friends. So uh, for about 14 years, this fiddle sat in the case, and I would take it out every once in a while and try to play, but I could never figure it out um, because I just had no tangible way of learning. So this fiddle fretter allowed me to feel and see. I could visually see now where all of the notes are. Uh, I can understand the relation from string to string, and I could feel. That was the most important part for me, is that these frets are actually wired and they're raised. I could feel where to put my fingers. Now, it does not work like a guitar. You cannot put your finger behind the fret as you would with a guitar. Your finger has to be spot on, right on the fret. So that means that early on, you can still learn to play the fiddle, even if you haven't memorized your fret spacings, you can feel where those frets are, so you know where to put your fingers. And what that does is it allows you to memorize the spacing and where to put your fingers and how to get your intonation. That's not something that you can do normally with the fiddle, and I know a lot of people give up because it's quite frustrating trying to learn the fiddle. This turns the learning process into something tangible. Within two weeks, I was playing the fiddle, actually playing it. I have a playlist of about 100 songs uh, that I created on YouTube that's just old-time country uh, folk music that I was listening to, and I was just listening by ear, and I was able to play along. After about two months, I was able to play comfortably, and I didn't necessarily have to keep staring down at the fretboard. And I would say after about uh, eight months to one year, I no longer uh, needed um, the... Um, I no longer needed the helper for this, so I'll just switch over to a better quality instrument. So again, this is a cheap instrument. The strings are, are dollar store. I, you know, they're, they're really awful. I just keep them in the case as a backup. Um, but at this point, I no longer need the fiddle fretter. I've been playing for about two years now.
I'm still quite early in my uh, journey in learning to play the fiddle, and I'm still improving, so uh, I'm quite early. I'm still quite uh, novice level, but I'm at a point where I can go to uh, music clubs and music jams, music festivals. I can listen along to other musicians, and I'm able to play along with whatever they're doing, even if I've never heard uh, what they've uh, played before, even if I've never played uh, alongside certain other musicians before. And that is entirely thanks to the fiddle fretter. The fiddle fretter just gave me the, the tangible environment that I needed in order to learn fret spacing and to where that is. So I combined that with uh, playing mandolin. So I would listen to a song, I would try to play along with the fiddle fretter, find that I was struggling a bit, then I would play uh, a particular song on mandolin. So for example, you know, a Shilkin Farewell or a Blue River Waltz. Um, I would play that on mandolin and then I'd say, okay, I know where where the notes are, I know which frets I'm supposed to, you know, put my fingers. And then I would, ab I was able to move from the mandolin and then play it on the fiddle fretter. And then in, again, instead of putting your finger behind the fret, you need to be directly on the fret. And at that point, I was able to just take songs that I sort of figured out on the mandolin and play them on the fiddle. And again, after a couple months, I was very comfortable. Really, all it took was two weeks with that, and I was really able to play fairly comfortably, not in front of other people. Good gracious, no, I wouldn't have played in front of other people. But I was able to uh, have the opportunity to learn instruments a little better. So again, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but I will put the link in the description. And I think maybe many people out there who have wanted to be able to play the fiddle, I think the fiddle fretter might make a big difference for you. So. <laughs> This has been helpful to you. Uh, see you around, take care, and come home again soon. We'll see you.